And a very good evening to all my viewers out there. It is right now Friday, December 2nd, 2022. It's exactly 5.24 p.m. and we're here outside the Palais de Congrès de Montréal. This is the Montreal Convention Center. And over here is Fire Station 20. And right down there, I'll zoom in for you. That is the Place d'Arm Metro Station entrance. And if you're wondering what's going on here, well, they've set up this huge security barrier uh, this large fence, this perimeter around the Palais de Congrès, the uh, convention center. And that is, of course, because there is the COP15, COP15 Biodiversity Conference. Uh, I think it's part of the UN or something to do with that. Uh, obviously, with the topic of biodiversity. And also, uh, yeah, apparently there's going to be a lot of world leaders here. And they are anticipating protests so what they've done is like I said they put this huge fence up uh, for transit fans if you are taking or you know any regular commuters if you are taking the metro on the orange line uh, your metro will not stop at Plaz Darm your metro will go by Plaz Darm uh, there will be no train stopping at Plaz Darm metro station very similar to when they're doing renovations uh, at a metro station you know the train just goes right by uh, for the emergency response fans and whatnot, fire buff fans. Here's fire station 20. Uh, now it looks like it's fenced, but if you look inside, there are staff there. There's fire chief 136, by the way. Um, yeah, so again, just to show you quickly here. Uh, yeah, so this fence goes all the way around, uh, facing pretty much, we're facing right now to the north. This is to the west. This fence goes all the way down Vijay and comes back all the way around here as well uh, on this street over here which i believe is saint antoine but anyway that's pretty much what's happening here so uh as i said for for those of you that you know follow my channel and whatnot uh yeah i'll definitely be updating you on any protests or um, any kind of demonstrations that happen here but uh yeah this is i think the second day that they've mm -hmm fence this area off. Now I do want to mention as well that the conference itself doesn't start till December 7th I believe um, but I guess in preparation for this this is what they've done uh, ahead of time and eventually I think this whole area is going to be shut off to traffic so all this traffic you see here uh, is going to be uh, pretty much barricaded off uh, and yeah you're going to be left with uh, pretty much a, a no-go zone here and old Montreal and yes this is St. Antoine Street and the street I'm on right now by the way is St. Urbain so just remember uh, you know if you are taking the metro there will be no train stopping at Place d'Arm metro station and uh, yeah this whole downtown area will be isolated you can see the fence here look at this even got some cameras on here as well so it looks like a military zone you know a, a checkpoint or something uh, very rare to see this uh, so anyway, this is for the COP15 COP Biodiversity Conference. Um, and like I said, I will bring you coverage. I'm going to do a video now of no train stopping at Plaz d'Arm. Probably coming, I'll probably go to Champ de Mars station just east of here. Hop on a train and I'll get that video, get that video uh, posted. And I'll do a couple more, maybe one starting from Barry Ucam. Uh, but anyways, just keep an eye on this and... Uh, yeah, have a good night, everybody. More videos to come.